camera's going, my camera and my phone. So, you know, we are professional cooking people over here. <laughs> Today, I wanna to share the recipe for croffles with you. I got this recipe from Sung Young Lung Guest in her Dalgona coffee video. Um, she just did this as a little side thing and my mom and I were like, we need to try that. And so we bought the little mini waffle iron that she had. It was literally like $10 on Amazon. And so, yeah, we've been making croffles like a few times. I think like we've made them two times now and they're so good. And you really, all you need is the Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. So it's super easy. So what I have here is just a surface, a cooking sheet um, or cookie sheet, baking sheet, whatever this is called, to roll the crescents out on. You need a waffle iron, I'm using the mini one, but I think a regular one would do because it's really just the size. This is the perfect size for the croffles, but I think if you have a regular waffle iron, it'll work fine. You know, you gotta have your stuff for your topping. So I have some powdered sugar and some Mrs. Butterworth's syrup. Um, this is just so good. Like, why do I like this more than maple syrup? I don't know, but yeah, that's me. I have a little bowl and a little sift for the powdered sugar eventually. A spoon to not only open the crescent roll pack, but to also scoop the powdered sugar into there. So that will be set to the side just for a moment. I have a little mini pair of tongs to take the crescent rolls out. An oven mitt. Um, this part of the waffle iron doesn't get hot, but the rest does. And if you really wanna like smush it down, I highly recommend using one of these. Then you can just put your hand over the top. I have some plates. I'm gonna make all of these. This comes with eight rolls. I'm gonna make them all for my family. So I have this plate here to set them aside, but I'm also going to keep them warm in our little toaster oven. So I'm actually gonna go back there and just heat that up on the warm setting because I did find when you're eating these, um, they get kind of hard as they get cold. So it's best to keep them as warm as possible. So I'm gonna just put them directly onto this for now. Um, so I can just put them right into the oven and keep them warm. And then this is for plating because we're cute. So that's basically it, let's get started. So I'm just gonna follow the directions on here to open it. It says, start here, peel in direction of arrow fully around the can, press spoon against seam and pop. So we're gonna peel. I also just like love crescent rolls. They're so good. I made them for dinner the other day because we had soup and salad and I thought, what goes so good with that? Um, crescent rolls. You just push here. Woo! <laughs> Forrest is, my dog is like, what was that? Plop it out. Unroll. I'm just gonna keep these over here. And you literally, just make, just roll them as if they were crescent rolls, like as if that's what you were gonna do. So I'm really just going to do that. I would usually try to be like way more perfect with these if they were just gonna be crescent rolls, but since they're croffles and they're just gonna be smushed down into a waffle anyway, it doesn't really matter. You just need to get them into their basic shape. This one looks so weird. So now we have eight little crescent rolls. And now what we're gonna do is just plug this in. This doesn't even have like an on off switch or anything like that. 
you literally just plug it in. So I have an extension cord here and that's gonna heat up. I'm just gonna throw this stuff away while that's heating up. Oh, and while that's heating up, I'm also going to preheat the little toaster oven. So I just put it on the warm setting because we're going to put everything on this tray and then keep it warm in the oven. And it feels like this is hot, so I'm going to put one of them in. And it's literally so easy, you guys. Like, it's stupid that I'm even making this video, but I had to share the wealth, the wealth of good food. Oh crap, my battery's gonna die on that camera. <laughs> Please don't die before I finish doing this. I can hear it sizzling. You guys, look at it, it's already like so good, but I'm just gonna cook it until it is fully like browned. exactly how long it takes. I haven't really timed it. Not very long though. They're so small. <gasps> Beautiful. Look at how ooh, hot. Perfect that is. Why don't I just plate this one and then you can see what it looks like. And then in case that camera dies, I'll just show you all about the end and be cute and maybe show my family having cute breakfast. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So while this one is cooking, I'm just gonna put some powdered sugar this bowl. That is so good. Let me get a fork. Let's get some syrup going. Wow, oops, I <laughs> really went off the side there. Okay, now let's get this. Alright, 
right, so my camera officially died. <laughs> so it's just good old iPhone that's plugged in right now. I really need to get like a separate battery for my camera so I can have one always charged while I'm using it. But you know, you guys stop. I shouldn't talk with food in my mouth. Um, you guys got the gist of, you know, the whole recipe. So I'm just gonna cook the rest of these and we'll be back. So the reviews are in. Oh my God, this is so good. Yay! Yeah. What was the one called that we tried before? Like big and buttery? Oh was yeah. All they had the store. giant size one. So this is like the yeah. perfect size. These ones are better. So make sure you get the regular kind of crescent roll. Are you a fan? Simply smashing. That means yes. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching and. Um, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to see more of my face, and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>